Did you know that you can use your Apple iPad as a secondary monitor to your Windows PC setup? I didn't either. In today's video, I'm going to talk about an app called Duet Display that allows you to have an Apple iPad as a secondary monitor to both your Mac OS or Windows PC setup. In today's video, I'm going to talk about Windows PCs because that's what I have right now. I'm going to go through how what the Duet Display app promises to do. I'm going to talk about the setup and configuration that it's required for both your iPad and your Windows PC setup. I'm going to go through uh, my workflow in terms of YouTube and using this, how I use my Apple iPad. And then for fun, I've also was able to run Fortnite on my Windows PC and kind of show it on my iPad. And we're going to talk about the lag, the performance of gaming on it, and whether it's something, a realistic option that you want. I know you can't play Fortnite on iPad right now, but this might be a way of being able to do it. So I'm going to talk about my experience doing that. And also some productivity tools, such as can I use my Apple Pencil or use this as a touch tablet for a Windows PC setup like I'm doing now. All right, as you're watching the video and you find it helpful, please remember to give it a thumbs up, like the video, and consider subscribing to my channel for similar content. So the app that you're looking for is called Duet Display. And on the Canadian App Store right now, it's selling for $13.99. And when I read the description below right now, it's 50% off for a limited time. I've been using this app for about six months now. And I think when I got it, it was on sale. It was for $9.99 Canadian. Um, so sometimes maybe it goes even further sale or they maybe just increase the price, just like everything else because of COVID. Um, so, but uh, this is the app to download and I'll show you how to go through it. So I did look up Duet Display online. Um, so the one that we got allows you to use the iPad as a secondary monitor when it's plugged in. The second one they sell is Duet Air, which allows you to use your iPad as a secondary monitor wirelessly. And the third one they have allows you to use the iPad Pro and uh, Apple Pencil as a tablet so you can actually use it on your Windows or Mac OS. So in terms of downloading, it's really quickly. You just kind of download it online for Windows, install it, and then once installs, you just have to reset your computer. Okay, for it to actually work, what you have to do is uh, once you install the app on your iPad, you just double click Duet Display app. And then on your desktop, click on the Duet icon. And then once you do that, uh, your monitor do a funny flip there. And then your iPad now becomes your secondary display. So just to prove that point, I'm going to open up Luminar AI. I'm going to shrink down the window and you can see that I drag it down into my iPad as a secondary display. And there's my puppy there. Well, he's not a puppy, he's about 13 years old now. He's an old man. And then I open Snagit at the top so you can see that dual functionality of having the iPad as a secondary monitor. Okay, so what I really use it for is DaVinci Resolve uh, when I'm doing video editing. And uh, so what I do is I try to have my main monitor on my iPad. Um, this project isn't complicated. It doesn't have a lot of uh, tracks in terms of video or audio. Sometimes I have up to seven or eight different tracks. And so my window at the top is very small to preview what I'm actually working on. It's 11 inch iPad Air. And you can see that I can preview uh, the out feed uh, from DaVinci Resolve, which is really nice. Uh, here, I'm just kind of showing you like what I would use it for. Like, again, because the window is so small at the top, I add some titles here. It's really easy for me to drag and drop the title and kind of see where it is on the iPad. The one thing I do notice is that there's not a lot of lag between uh, my actions on the computer and what's showing on the iPad. It is plugged in through USB-C, so I'm not sure if that's a faster response time. But as you can see, as I'm dragging things back and forth, it's almost like real time. I was actually expecting a bit of a lag and I can't complain about the lag. It seems to be working really well. And I'm gonna do some color grading. And it's also nice to, when I do the color grade, to see it on a bigger 11.2 inch uh, iPad. However, one thing to note is the color accuracy might not be there when you're using your monitor as a color grade because it's not, I don't think it's set up as sRGB. Like my monitor is calibrated, the iPad is not. So there's something to note that when you're doing some color grading to make sure that um, you're just not looking at the iPad, but you're looking at um, your actual display. Here, I wanted to show a demonstration of the tablet functionality. So I'm using Snagit Editor, which is on my PC, and I just wanted to see how well it functions. So I use 
snag it as my like Photoshop photo editing and manipulation, so to speak. Uh, here, I'm kind of using my tablet pen to draw a box around it. it Seems pretty responsive. And normally I'd be using this with the mouse and keyboard on my main monitor, but again, I just want to see how well it does with my uh, Apple Pencil. Uh, so there is a bit of a lag, as you can see there. And, um, but I like the fact that it seems accurate, as you can see, as I'm pulling the bar to increase the width of it. And then if I'm selecting another arrow tool, here, I'm going to try a pen mode. I'm going to start drawing on there just to see what it's like. Again, it seems pretty accurate. I'm increase the width. And I'm just going to write some words here. And as you can see, there is a big lag when you're writing on there. Um, one thing you does note is it does have palm rejection. So on the right-hand side, you can see where it didn't quite work. But it's, it seems to do its thing if you're kind of slow and deliberate about it. So one thing that I wanted to try was to see if I can actually game on the iPad Air um, using the display. So I changed the resolution to 1400 by 800, 1610. I hit apply. And I realized it was a bit small on the monitor. And so I changed it to full display. And as you can see, as I jump out of the bus, it is very pixelated. Um, the graphics aren't great at all. Um, it seems a bit responsive. And you can see I'm getting about 150 to 200 frames per second. So on the right hand corner, I just was curious to see what the frame would be like. In terms of playability, I'm, I'm using a wired mouse and keyboard, uh, and it's very laggy. Um, it's doable, it's playable here as I'm hitting. Um, you can't see it, but I'm actually, uh, there's a lag when I'm clicking on my mouse to, to break down the walls. Uh, and then when I'm running, you can see it's a bit jerky, it's not smooth. I think it's the frame is trying to, to keep up onto it. I didn't do any editing at all. What you see here is the actual feed recorded from my iPad. And the jitter that you see is actually from the iPad and nothing to do with compression or editing. So that's kind of about it. I would definitely not recommend uh, using your iPad monitor as a secondary screen. So here, I just wanted to, to show you what it looks like. Just uh, proof that I am actually playing on an iPad. And aim, I had a hard time aiming again because due to the lag, you can see I kind of missed there. Uh, eventually, I kind of nailed the opponent there. All right, so that concludes my video review of using the Duet Display app on my Windows PC along with my Apple iPad and using this as a secondary display. I've been using it for six months and it's been flawless for me and has really helped me with my productivity as a YouTube content creator. If you have any questions or comments about my current setup or about the app, please leave it in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. Thank you guys for watching and until next time.